Greetings, brothers and sisters. I come to you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is Thursday, the 30th of June, and the time is 10 minutes after 2 p.m. It is the first day of Tammuz. The new month, Sivan, is behind us, and the year is 5782, and uh, the day the year 5782 after creation of man this teaching is on um new wine right um mark 2 chap mark chapter 2 verse 21 let's start off with verse 19 And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom, which is Jesus, is coming for his bride, the church, shall be taken away from them. The groom shall be taken away from them. And then the, the bride will have to increase in power and authority upon the earth and then they shall fast in those days fast feast on the word of god no man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filleth that fold it up taketh away from the old and the rent is made worse so you cannot mix a piece of old cloth, uh, uh, sew a new piece of new cloth on an old garment because it doesn't, it doesn't look right firstly and it's just going to make it look, um, the, it will uh, weaken it. The old cloth it will tear easily and it's not going to strengthen the new cloth. And verse 22, and no man putteth new wine into old bottles. In those days it was called wine skins. It was like wine skins. And it tears easily. It tears as it ages. So you won't put new wine in there. Otherwise the new wine is null and void when it when it leaks over the floor. What's it worth when it's when it's lying all over the floor full of sand? Else the new wine doth burst the bottles. And the wine is spilled and the bottles will be marred. But new wine must be put into new bottles. Right. When I got saved... I was taken, I stood outside the church, oh, I didn't even put it, I stood outside the church, and the Lord showed me something, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, I didn't even, oh, sorry, and the, I, I looked out at the trees, uh, opposite the church, I stood on the steps, and I just got saved and delivered from a demonic spirit, that I had with me for 39 years. Actually 35 years. And I stood there at the steps as I came out from this deliverance service, my, the day I got saved. And I stood and I looked at the trees and I said, but the trees look different. Why? Well, I don't remember it looking like this. And then the Lord spoke to me. It was actually the first time I heard His voice. An audible voice, clear voice. And he said, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And I said, things look differently. And then the Lord said, verse 7, he went back. For we walk by faith, not by sight. And he's making a proclamation, making a declaration from now onwards that you are a new man. So now why I'm bringing those two, there's a mark, chapter two, the new one and, and the new man into context. It's because we, that new man has the mind because now we have been conditioned up until that point, I've been conditioned to the world. Now we've got to undo this. And the way to undo all that conditioning, the preconditioning, is by reading the Word of God and understanding truth, Bible truth, not doctrines of devils and doctrines of men anymore. Um, 
Darwin's theory of evolution. I'm not a monkey. I'm sorry. I was made divine in the image of God. I'm not an animal. I'm separate. We are separate to those things. We are above the beasts of the field. And I'm not going to be likened to a monkey. I'm sorry. That's not me. You can believe it, but it's not going to be me. You're on your own, kid. So, and how to do that is through Romans chapter 12. Oopsie. Did I not mark this? I'm going through this, this lesson. Sorry, man. I normally mark them all out. Romans chapter 12. How do you do this? By renewing your mind. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world. Do not conform to doctrines of devils, doctrines of men, Darwin's evolution, uh, the Greek mythology of false gods, all those other false religions in this world today. It's all the same. There's nothing new under the sun. That's what the Bible says. Man will always be the same. Evil, evil, he just, his evil gets more corrupt. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God for your life. Verse 12, 12, 12. Rejoicing, I love this verse, Rejo especially in the day of trouble. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation and continuing instant in prayer to Lord Conform and, 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 and transform my mind and con transform and renew my mind in the image of God, our Savior. Hallelujah. I was edified when I stood outside my the church and, and the Lord spoke that to me. When I heard his voice for the first time, it was like a sigh of relief. Lord, I've been searching you. You know, when you find some a lot, I'm just not going to say it like this, but just for example, you lose your pet. You know how people, I, have, I was there. Or you lose your child, let's let you, you, you lose your child, so your child gets separated in a crowd. And you, and you panic. Now that's how I felt. And then you re reunite with your child. That's how I felt when, when, when the Lord spoke to me. I was like, oh. Oh my goodness, you here? Daddy? Father? You are there. I thought you were gone. It's like that kind of feeling, man. And then when the Lord spoke these verses to me, man, brothers and sisters, I'll never, so I, I, I will probably, you'll get bored of me probably telling this testimony. But you know what? What it did for me, it's like, Daddy, I found you. I've been on my knees for 35 years praying for you, 39 years praying for you in like a good catholic boy i was praying for you where are you and i don't hear you and then i got saved by a five-fold ministry never heard i've heard of the word pastor before i didn't know what it meant i knew it was a priest but i didn't know how powerful the name the word pastor is and the anointing that that name carries it is in Ephesians 4.11. Let's just go there quickly before I've got a minute before closing. Uh, Ephesians 4. Just want to read that one again. 4.11. Okay, let's start with 9. This is what Jesus did. Now that he ascended, what is it that but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he may, might full, fulfill all things in the Old Testament, the promises and everything. And he gave some apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers. First time in my life, I fivefold ministry. Five, first time in my life, I'm in a fivefold ministry and I got delivered 
I got led by the Holy Spirit and I got delivered in a group. I went up for an altar call and I found